I forgot to add my title in this Periscope, but welcome. I may, you may have to just uh, redo this, but I just wanted to um, come today to, uh, hi Kelly, good to see you here. Hi Jen, um, forgot to add a title, but I wanted to talk about uh, section 179 deductions and what those are. So let me first start by introducing myself. My name is Elena Tercero and I am a CPA. I live in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I am married and have four kids. Uh, really good to see you, Jen. And I have my own CPA firm uh, stationed out of New Mexico, but work with businesses across the country really uh, focusing on small businesses and helping them understand the tax side of their business. So I'm going to talk about some de tax deductions tip um, specifically today about section 179. So that is just a part of the tax code. That's that's just the name that it that they everybody refers to it in the CPA and accounting world. But what that means for you is a deduction on equipment, um, furniture, as well as vehicles, and uh, how you can do that to actually maximize the deduction. So, so that's where the section 179 comes into play for. Um, expenses, what you can actually do with them is expense some of them immediately. So for some equipment and like computers or desks, most of the time you depreciate them over a, a certain time period, usually three to five years. So if you paid a thousand dollars for a computer and you take it over four years, you can only expense $250 a year. To, to bring your taxable income down by that $250. But with a section 179, what you can do with that same uh, computer is to take the full $1,000 as a deduction, which is really important because you're either gonna take it 250 every year for four years or you take the full $1,000 immediately. One thing that you want to consider, or just so that way you know, some of the things to consider is that you have to look at how much your income is and then how much uh, expenses you have. So your income can go all the way down to zero, but it can't go negative using the Section 179 deductions. So sometimes it may be better for you to take that depreciation on those on that equipment but that's where it's really important to have somebody in your corner helping you with your business and because you're not always going to think about those sorts of things your main goal and your main purpose is to build your business and to bring in customers to bring in the what you want to happen in your business so i'm here to give you a little bit of the information but then also to help you to be that person in your corner and to help you with those sorts of services so let me just go over the information first and then we'll circle back. So the information, can, the equipment can be new or used. It does not matter. Equipment, uh, vehicle, computers, if you're going to buy um, a smartphone or an iPad or an iPod, any type of equipment that you can think of. Um, I, I recently purchased a Stellar Light Ring so, um, and using that today. So that is equipment for my business that is deductible. It can be used as a Section 179. So really, there's, there's a lot that can be used in there. Um, so right now, um, if you purchase the equipment though, and you start using it as personal and then you switch it over to business, it cannot be used as a section 179. So it has to be used solely for your business. So really make sure to sort of um, keep that in the back of your mind that when you're purchasing something, think about how it's going to be used. That's really important for you as the business owner because you're making those purchases. So when you're gonna purchase something, are you gonna use it 90% for business, 10% for personal, 100%. You wanna try and keep that percentage of business to personal always higher 
because then you can use that as a deduction. Right now, the limit for the section 179 is $25,000 for 2015. Now, I said earlier that you can also use it for vehicle. Vehicles are a little tricky and become a little more complicated, but the important thing to know is that it's going to be used for personal, for business use. The, they have a weight limit on it, so and it's not the curb weight, it's actually the weight of the vehicle when it is um, loaded. So if it has a gross weight of over 6,000 pounds, then it can be used as a section 179. Right now it's at $25,000, but the last three years, Congress has enacted um, that that dollar amount be raised. So it's gone up to, I believe, $150,000, but they always wait until January. So it makes it really hard for you and your business when you're tax planning. Can I purchase a vehicle now? Should I wait to buy a vehicle? Does it make sense? So right now, depending on what type of a vehicle you're buying, you will get $25,000. Now, if they, you know, if they, if, so if you're looking to purchase a vehicle now, right now you're going to have $25,000 that you can use as an immediate expense. You cannot though, um, I talked about vehicles in another one of my periscopes. And so we were talking about depreciating it just like the equipment. So if you take a, a section 179, deduction, you can't depreciate the vehicle as well or any of the other equipment that you purchase and you decide to fully deduct in that tax year. You can't use it as um, something that's depreciable in future tax returns. So there's another reason why, you know, trying tr for you as a business owner, trying to keep track of what did you use for this? When did you use that? Um, having that tax advisor to help you have all of that information already there and ready to go is also really important. So, um, like I said, it is related, uh, limited to your business income. So say you made uh, $50,000 in your business for all of 2015, you have all these other deductions that you've already taken, your home office deduction, your, your, um, vehicle deductions in the mileage and the oil, the gas. You've got your advertising that you've already done, your advertising and marketing. You've got all these other deductions and all of that takes it down, let's, let's just say it takes it down to $20,000. I haven't even talked about health insurance yet, but you can also deduct health insurance 100% from your business. There are things that you need to do in order to take that as a deduction, but it is possible. I will talk about that another, an, in another Periscope. So in this scenario, $50,000 of income, you had $25,000 of expenses already taken off, not including any of the equipment. Now you purchased equipment, say the equipment is um, $25,000. You know, you, maybe you purchased a vehicle and a few other uh, equipment items. It's going to take your business income down to zero. You don't always want to do that. You do want to be careful that you are building your business as a business because if you have zero income or negative over a course of a certain number of years, I believe it's three years, but the IRS will then consider you as a hobby and not a business and it throws you in a whole other world that you don't really want to be in and I'm not going to go into it today about that. So do keep that in mind. Um, you know, you, you will have business losses in some years, but you just want to be building, especially in the, in the beginning years of building your business. So I do want to, uh, want you to keep that in mind as well. Um, that's really all I had for today about the Section 179 deductions related to equipment or furniture um, and also vehicles. Do you have any questions? And as, as you guys are typing up some questions, I will um, 
circle back around. You're welcome. You're welcome, Kelly. Thank you for joining. Um, I will circle back around and just tell you that, you know, I, my name is Elena Tercero. I am a mom. I do have four kids and I am a CPA, live in Santa Fe, New Mexico, own my own CPA firm, focusing primarily on small businesses and trying to help them understand the tax side of their business. So that way they can be better equipped to know what to do with the income and the expenses. I do have some tax tips that I've put together, a PDF, and I've got a little uh, note here. Let's see if I can get it in there. So bit.ly, bit.ly forward slash LLA tax tips is where you can go to get more tax tips. I've got three of them up so far and I will continue to build that. I will send out more information as I go along in the emails. And I also, you know, if, if this information is just overwhelming for you and you need somebody to help you in this area, I am here to help you. I am also taking clients to be able to help them in their on their business side of of their business, on the tax side of their business, their accounting side of their business. So that way you don't always have to think about all of these things. Um, so if that is something that you want to do or are looking for considering, please send me an email. Elena at littlelightaccounting.com. And I am on Instagram. I am on Twitter. You can also DM me if you'd like. DM me your email address and we can correspond that way on Twitter. I do have a like page as well on Facebook. I am Elena Tesoro everywhere. I tried to make it simple. I do have a like page for my accounting um, business. Thank you, Jen. I really do appreciate it. I know you've got lots of things going on, and so when the time is right, just let me know. Um, you know, and that's that's true for everybody. You know, always I will be giving more tips. I you know do sign up for my free PDF, and I am here to help you and to work through all of your um, tax questions. I'm thinking about doing uh, on Sundays and ask the CPA Periscope, so that way I don't really have anything in particular to talk about, but if you have a question or concern and maybe I haven't addressed it, we can um, just sit and and uh, I can just ask, you, you can ask questions and then I can answer them, um, you know, when, during that time. So I'm thinking Sundays, just that way it's one day, it's not too much, you know, and, and I'll continue going through these periscopes and giving you tips and tricks and ideas for your business and your taxes. So at the end of the year, come December 31st, you're not scrambling to figure out how much money you made and how much money you're going to have to pay in taxes because nobody that owns a small business likes tax time because that is always the stress. Did I save enough for taxes? Because we're not W-2 employees anymore, so we don't have those deductions taken out automatically for every check. And that's okay, but how do we figure out and strategize and plan for tax time throughout the year? And that's what's most important, making sure that we are strategizing for the end of the year so that way we're not feeling like complete failures um, or trying to make up extra money to having having to pay if you do have to pay um, taxes at the end of the year. So that is my hope, that is my goal, that is my mission to help you. Hey Sassy, how are you? I was just ending. I'm glad you joined us but you'll have to um, catch me on the rebroadcast. This will be up for 24 hours on Periscope, but after that, you can find me on catch.me forward slash Elena Tesoro, and it's K-A-T-C-H. So um, I really hope you found value in this. We did talk about the uh, deductions as it relates to Section 179, and Sassy, I know you know exactly what I'm talking about. 
Um, but equipment, furniture, vehicles, how can we take a bigger deduction during the tax year versus having to depreciate it or take a percentage of it over a course of say four or five years depending on what type of um, what we refer to as an asset it is so um, equipment furniture all of those sorts of things are assets to you um, they do provide a little bit of value into your com your company not always a whole lot but it every little bit helps and so uh, I will be back tomorrow I think I'm going to talk tomorrow about building a budget for your business because that's really important especially when you're starting out and how much do you spend and what do you spend on and uh, really making sure that you have a source of revenue to be able to spend that money on and what's the best use of your money so I think I'll go through that tomorrow um, sort of a general sense just because everybody's businesses are different and their income can be different so um, hopefully you guys can catch me tomorrow on that one if you did find value in this please do share this with your friends and followers here on Periscope and also on Twitter and I will see you tomorrow